Welcome to the first episode of Thomas Time on Digital Awesome. On Thomas Time I'm gonna talk about stuff I want, stuff I like, top 10 lists that I made. And in this first episode I'm gonna talk about the top 10 characters that I would like to see in a Mario Kart game. This list only includes characters that have never been playable yet in a Mario Kart game. So you won't see P.D. Piranha or Diddy Kong on this list. And it also doesn't include characters that I think should just be alternate versions of an existing character. So you won't see Captain Toad here. After now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and let's begin with number 10. My number 10 is Pauline. We know Pauline from being the damsel in distress before Peach was. She is the one you needed to save in the Donkey Kong games. Now, Pauline isn't actually one of my favorite characters to join Mario Kart, but I think it would make very much sense with Super Mario Odyssey coming out. In Super Mario Odyssey, she has a pretty big role as the mayor of New Donk City, and she's the singer of the theme song. So Pauline isn't really my favorite, but I think it makes a lot of sense so that's why she deserves this spot in my top 10 list. My number 9 is for Spike. Now Spike has been an enemy of Mario since Super Mario Bros 3, but for a long time he didn't get the attention he deserved. Until New Super Mario Bros, because after that he appeared in almost every Mario game since. And he was playable in Mario Party 10 and Mario Sports Superstars. And I like him to be also playable in Mario Kart. He's a, he's a simple little funny enemy that would make a good spot on a character roster. So I think he should be playable and that's why he is my number 9. My number 8 is Kamek. Now Kamek is actually a pretty big character in the Mario universe. Being some sort of mentor slash guardian for the all time villain Bowser. But he hasn't been playable yet many times in all the games. He has been playable in Mario Party 9 and in Mario Golf World Tour. And he would even almost be playable in a Mario Kart game and maybe in all of them. There is a picture of a character roster of Mario Kart 64 way back that shows Kamek instead of Donkey Kong. But in the final game he was, as you know, replaced by Donkey Kong. How would it have been if Kamek would have been in Mario Kart 64 and not Donkey Kong? Would Donkey Kong have been in later games if he wasn't in Mario Kart 64? Who knows? Anyway, it has been a long time since Mario Kart 64 and Kamek is still not a playable Mario Kart character. That makes no sense. So I think he really should be a character and that's why he comes in on number 8 on my top 10. My number 7 is Nabbit. Now Nabbit is a relatively new character in Mario Universe, being first seen in 2012 in New Super Mario Bros U. But he is a fun and popular character and he even has been playable more times than Kamek. Now Nabbit shows up in the stages of Mushroom Kingdom in Super Smash Bros U. He is playable in New Super Luigi U, the spin-off game of New Super Mario Bros U. He has been playable in Mario Sonic at Olympic Rio games. And he is a DLC character from Mario Golf World Tour. He is a unique character that would fit nicely in a Mario Kart game. You even have to sort of raise him in some occasions. So that's why I picked Nabbit to be my number 7. My number 6 is Toadsworth. Now we all remember Super Mario Sunshine and we all remember this old Toad that was introduced in this game. And we all loved him. We all know he didn't love to get sprayed by water all the time, but he, he shouldn't make that funny noise if he doesn't want to get sprayed by water. Anyway, after Mario Sunshine, Totsworth didn't get the attention he deserved. He was in some Mario and the Witch games, but that was mostly it. You may think that Totsworth is too old to be in a Mario Kart game, but you're wrong. For two reasons. He proved to be in a young state of mind by playing a decent game of baseball, two times. And he already drove a kart in a Mario Kart game. Not as a playable character, but as you may know, as the one who drives you through the award ceremony in Mario Kart Double Dash. 
Now I don't get it why you would have him drive a car, but never even consider him to be playable. Now I think they should consider it, and that's why I picked Dotsbird for my number 6 spot. Now a hell for it there, and my number 5 is Koopa Kid. Now Koopa Kid is a forgotten and maybe even dead character in the Mario universe. And although he only has been in Mario Party games and never shows up since Mario Party 7, I would like to see him revived from the dead. I liked him for what he was. A cool looking Koopa, who was loyal to Bowser, despite how he was treated by him. Now some say Koopa Kid is this Bowser Jr, but then younger, or some even call him Baby Bowser. But those are actually three different characters. You know, Bowser Jr. is the son of Bowser. He's very popular, he's the actual son of Bowser. Now, baby Bowser is just Bowser as a baby. But Koopa Kid isn't one of them. Koopa Kid is just a slave or companion of Bowser and is in no way related to him. Now, if you are to add Koopa Kid to the Mario Kart character roster, you may add the red, blue and green Koopa Kids from Mario Party 5 as alternate versions with him. Now though it's very unlikely for the reasons that he has only been in Mario Party games and that he has never been seen again since Mario Party 7, I still would like Koopa Kid to be playable in the future of Mario Kart. The number 4 on this list is a Peculiar Bomb and maybe you heavily disagree with me for saying this, but I would like the rabbits. Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Metal to be playable in a Mario Kart game. The game was surprisingly fun and a big reason why those four Mario Rabbits. Uh, these are Rabbit Mario, Rabbit Luigi, Rabbit Peach and Rabbit Yoshi. The dynamics between them and the original characters were hilarious. I would like them all to be in Mario Kart. Now you could just add one spot for Rabbit Mario and add Rabbit Luigi, Rabbit Peach and Rabbit Yoshi as alternate versions with him just as the Inklings for example. So whether you agree with me, or whether you really hate me for saying this, the rabbits are my number 4 on this list. Then here is the top 3 characters that I would like to see in Mario Kart. Now number 3 is for Boom Boom and Pom Pom. Now Boom Boom has been around for us for a long time, but in the recent Mario games he seems to get more attention being a recurring mid-boss in New Super Mario Bros. U, Super Mario 3D Land and Super Mario 3D World. And you could pick him in Mario Sports Superstars. He's a good enemy for Mario, he looks unique and he would be a good fit for Mario Kart. And Mario Kart is short on good halfway characters. And the inclusion of Boom Boom as a halfway character would be nice. Now if you add Boom Boom, you could add his girl partner Pom Pom as an alternate version of him. Although. They took the two villages from Animal Crossing as separate spots in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So maybe they don't want a boy and a girl in the same spot. So maybe they would just be separate spots. But anyway, I like Boom Boom and Pom Pom to be in the Mario Kart game. So that's why they together are my number 3. My number 2 is for King Bobomp. Now this big Bobomp King was the first boss you encountered in Super Mario 64. That makes him the first boss you encountered in a Mario 3D game. So he is actually a pretty important character. But he has never been playable yet. He has been a boss in Mario Party games though, but that's it. Now it would make sense to add him to the character roster of Mario Kart. To let him represent the bob bombs. That way you have King Boo to represent the Boos. You have Bowser to represent the Koopas. You have Donkey Kong to represent the Bananas. And if Peter Piranha finally returns, he could represent the Piranha plants. So we need King bob to represent the bob -Bombs. So that's why King bob made to the number 2 on this list. Now before I tell you my number 1, I'll throw you some honorable mentions. Number one is Hammer Bro. Did you get it? I'll throw you some honorable mentions. And Hammer Bro throws hammers. Did you get it? Anyway, 
Hammer Bell is my number one character who should join Mario Kart. He is too big of a Mario enemy to just ignore in the Mario Kart worlds. Koop Troopa, Shy Guy and even Lakatu are already playable, but there's still no sign of Hammer Bro. Now, there have been rumors of Hammer Bro in Mario Kart Wii, and he even had his mugshot for the character was already taken. But at the end of the production, he and Kapuro Tupa and Pili Piranha were taken out of the game, unfortunately. Now Hammer Bro is only a spectator in some stages of the game. If you add Hammer Bro, it would make sense to add Fire Bro and Boomerang Bro as alternate versions with him. You could even add Sledge Bro, but I think Hammer Bro should be a lightweight or a medium weight character, and Sledge Bro should be a heavyweight character, so he won't be a very good alternate version. But as it is, I really think Hammerbow should be in Mario Kart and I don't understand why he never has been. So that is my top 10 list of characters that I would like to see in the future of Mario Kart. Did you agree with me on these ones? Or did I forget someone very important for you? Or do you have any suggestions for my next top 10 video? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe on the channel for future videos. It was good to spend this time with you and see you next time.